and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be doing a science topic on plants. So we are going to be learning to name and describe the purpose of the different parts of a plant. So, thinking about our bodies, can you name any parts of the body? If you can, you might want to say it to yourself, so touch that part of the body and say it, or you might want to write it down. So think about the different parts of your body. And when you're thinking about that, I want you to think about what that part of your body does for you. How does it help you to live? How does it help you to survive? So, if I draw a sick person, I'm looking at parts of the body. So for example, I might say my eyes, and they help me to see, to look around and to see new things. I might talk about my nose, and that helps me to smell. I might say my legs and they help me to walk, run, skip, hop, balance and lots of other things. My hands, they help me to grip, they help me to write, they help me to do lots of different actions, so twist, and things like that. So lots of different body parts and the reason why I want you to have a think about that is because just like our bodies, our different parts of our bodies help us to move, to survive and live in different ways. It's exactly the same with plants. So plants have different parts and these parts have different functions that help them to survive. So we've got the flower at the top, we've got the leaf or the leaves, we've got the stem and we've got the roots. So there's four different parts of the flower and each of those parts helps that flower flourish and stay alive. And we're gonna have a little look at these now. So the best way to remember these is by doing a bit of an action. So we're gonna do the roots. So the roots are underneath the ground and they act like an anchor. So they keep that flower, that beautiful flower in the ground and the roots go underneath the mud. So the roots act as an anchor so we're going to go down because it's like pulling you down like the anchor on a ship that would keep that ship or that boat staying exactly where it is that's exactly what the roots do for the plants they also so the roots that are underneath the ground these ones here absorb water and minerals that are underneath that mud and bring that up to the plant to help it to grow and to be healthy so the roots act as an anchor fantastic and they absorb the water, the minerals, from the mud. Then we've got the stem. So the stem is the big straight bit in the middle of the flower. So we're going to do our action like that. So we've got roots going down and then we've got the stem. The stem's job is to support the plant. So that keeps the top of that plant, the bit that's above the mud, nice and straight. So the roots act as an anchor and absorb the water and the um, minerals from the mud. And the stem keeps that plant upright so it's not drooping down. You usually know that if a stem is drooping, then that plant's not a healthy plant. It's dying or it's not got enough water or not got enough sunlight. So nice straight stem means it's a healthy plant. It grows above the ground. You can see that here. And the leaves and the flowers grow from the stem. It's also like a straw. So you see this picture here. Because from the roots absorbing those minerals and water, the stem uses those and sucks them up. So they're using the water and the minerals from the roots and like a straw, it sucks it up to allow that flower to blossom and so that the plant gets all the minerals and water that it needs. So the stem acts like a straw. So imagine you're drinking a cup of lemonade and you've got your straw and you have a drink. Just like that. So sucking up all those minerals and all that water and it keeps it nice and straight. Then we've got the leaves. So the leaves will do an action like this because it's usually on a tree, the leaves and the branches that sway. So we're going to be doing the leaves. And the job of the leaves is for photosynthesis. See if you can say that word, photosynthesis, 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 photosynthesis. To synthesis and that means that it uses sunlight to make food so the leaves this green part absorb the sunlight and turn it into energy that the plant can then have as food 
for growth. So the main part of the leaf is the leaf blade and this is often joined to the stem by a stalk. So you see this little green bit here, that's the stalk and here and then there'd be the stem that'd be up nice and straight. And the transport system in the stem continues through the stalk into the veins of the leaf. So that stalk, sorry, that stem that's holding that plant upright, there'll be little stalks coming off like this one here. That's another little stalk. So the water will go up the stem, the minerals go up the stem, they'll go round the stalks and into the leaves. So then the leaves are therefore getting the water, the minerals that they need to be able to be nice and green so they can photosynthesize and use the sunlight to create their own food and produce their own energy. So we've got the leaves making food. So we've got the roots that acts an anchor. We've got the stem that keeps us the flower upright and the plant upright and can also be used as a straw to suck up the water and the minerals from the roots and from the mud. You've then got the leaves blowing in the wind that make the plants food and give it energy so it can grow. And then we've got the flower. You can see that here. And the flower is the part of the plant where the seeds are formed. So, for example, when it's a really windy day, the seeds from the flower might fall down, be blown in the wind, go into some mud, and then rain will fall and it will start to replant and regrow. And another flower will be made. So we've got the flower. So for the flower, we're going to pretend that we're a plant and we're blossoming like a flower. So the flower is where the seeds are made. And now we're going to see whether we can put the parts of the plant onto this worksheet. So we've got to say what name we think the part is. So this bit here what do we think the part is? Can we do the action? So is the action going to be the roots as the anchor? Is it going to be the stem and the sucking of the straw? Is it going to be the leaves? Or is it going to be the flower? Have a little think. So, on this one, if you put flower, you are correct. This is the flower, this is where the seeds are made and produced. Then we've got this one here, so this one is pointing to this in the middle, it's going all the way down. So have a think about what that might be. Is it the roots? Is it the flower? Is it the leaves? Or is it the stem? Let's see if you're right. So that bit in the middle is the stem. It keeps the flower upright and it acts like a straw and sucks up the water and the minerals to make sure that the plant is extremely healthy. Then we've got this one, these green things, what are they called? Have a little think, what do you think they're called? What part is that? That is a leaf. And the leaves, plural, help to make the plant energy. So using photosynthesis, using sunlight to create the food that allows the plant to grow. And then right underneath here is a bit that's underneath the mud. So you can't really see it on this picture, but if I, oh, we haven't got a brown, I'll use a black. If we imagine that that was the muddy part, the roots are underneath here. And they, just like a boat, act as an anchor. So the same anchor on a boat, the roots are exactly the same, they're keeping it in the ground. So what you could have a go at doing now is drawing your own plant and labelling it and then going into more detail about what the function of each part of the plant does. So I might draw in this box. My flower. And then I can label it. So I know down here, here are my roots, these here are my leaves and I can colour them in, I've got my flower which makes the seeds and then I've got my stem. And you can probably see on the board here, this is a worksheet that I've used with my children, so then I can match or I can write my own functions for each of those parts. So the roots, and then I've got 
of a plant act as an anchor and absorb minerals and water, or the roots support the plant and keep it upright. The roots is the part of the plant where seeds are made. The roots absorb sunlight and turn it into energy that the plant used to grow. So I've got to pick which one's right. Well, I know that the roots don't keep it upright because that's the stem's job. The root is the part of the plant where seeds are made. Mm, no, I know that's not right because that's the flower at the top. The roots of a plant act as an anchor and absorb minerals and water. Well, I know that that one's correct. So what I could do underneath is I could write the roots act as an anchor and absorb important minerals and water from the soil.